Hi guys, welcome back. We'll have a quick look at California King Bed by Rihanna. Now for this song, we have three main parts to learn. We got the verse, then we have the pre-chorus, then we have the chorus, and we also do have the bridge, which is a little bit different. This builds up to the chorus. Uh, so I'm showing you guys every four parts which we have. And uh, we do have a bit of picking stuff for the verse and for the pre-chorus as well, but for the chorus it's more like a strong version. So firstly, no capo. It's in the sound ceiling. The calls are really very easy. Not a single bar we have for the song. So let's start with the main call phrase. First call the G, three, two, open, open, three, three. Then we have a D major, mid period, open, second, third, second. Then we have an E minor chord, open, second, second, open, open, open. Then we have a C major, mute, three, two, open, first, open. So just four chords, these are the main four chords which are used for the whole song. So you know the chords, right? Well, we're starting off with the intro and the verse. Uh, before I show you guys how to do the picking thing, let me show you guys the chord progression. So the chord progression is actually a G to C, then G, C, then G, C. So repeat three times and that goes to G and D. So what I'm doing over here is I have third fret on the B string fixed for every chord sheet, no matter what the chord is, right? Now let's hold the G major chord. I have E string third fret. I have the E string, then the G string with a flex drum, then the B string. So E G B. Now I'll be changed to the A string third fret, which is a C major chord. So I'll do the exact same thing, but I'll play A G B. So the first line is done. The second line goes in the exact same way. G major, E. G, B. The C major will be A, G, B, but after that we'll play the G string another time, which will be A, G, B, G. So we have, see that? Yes. So we got the first two lines. The third line goes in the exact same way, play the same thing, E, G, B on the G major chord. But for the C major chord, what I'll do is I'll play I'll have third fret on E and B string fixed. I'll play the E string, G string, open high E string, then B string, then G string. So third line goes like this. Back to G major chord. So this is the fourth line. I'll hit the E, then G, then B. Now for the D major chord, I'll do this. I'll hit the D string open, G string second fret. Again open high E string, B3, G2, and then again B3. So we got... And that's basically the intro, and that's our verse, we'll just play that. So I hope it's clear, it's actually really very easy. So just have a look at the tab, I'll play it very slowly for you guys. We'll now have a look at the pre-chorus and over here we'll have like uh, two chords, E minor, then C. What I'll do over here is I'll play. I'll do the same thing which I did on the G major chord, but I'll replace the e, C, G major chord with the E minor. So I'll hit the open E, then open G, then B. Then I'll go to the C major chord, I'll hit the A string, then G string open, then open high E string, then B. G. Repeat that two more times. And then you basically play a D major chord. And it goes like this. I'm going D, G, B, G. E string second fret. Open high E string. B, G. So we got. So the pre-chorus looks like this. If 
you want you can actually strum the D major chord build up to the chorus just like that you really don't have to like follow what I'm doing but again guys this is really easy I may be going a bit fast but again pause the video look at the tab any part you're stuck in please let me know I'll help you out now let's move on to the chorus we have G D E minor C now for every chord shape excluding the D major chord I do have third frets on the E and the B string fixed so it's a G major, that's a D major, that's a E minor 7. So now it's an E minor 7. And C major is now C add 9. So mute 3, 2, open 3, 3. The string pattern I'm using is down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. Let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Once and every go. to the bridge uh, but uh, it's more of like the uh, electric guitar power chord stuff going over here so we'll basically play a G major chord now I'll play a D then again a G and C at 9 then back to G then D and then I'll play G C and after that I'll do this quick thing just a minute So we played G, D, G, C, G, D, G, C. After that, I'm playing F sharp power chord, 2, 4, 4. The bottom three strings are made. So we got 2, 4, 4 on E, D, G, respectively. 1. Bring it 1 fret up. It's 3 on E, 5th fret on E and D. Strum the chord. Then hit open E, 2nd fret on D and G. So it's a A5 power chord. Strum the chord. Then hit 2nd fret on E, 4th fret on D and G. Every other string, excluding the A, D, G, should be muted. So 1 down stroke. Bring it one fret up, third fret on your fifth fret on D and G, that's a C major chord. C5, more prominently. So we have. So the bridge sounds like this. Back to the chorus. song guys i hope that it helps you out if you have any doubt let me know for more easy and a clear lesson like this be sure to subscribe my channel helps me out a lot i'll see you guys back in the next video bye